Why do we ask Mary to intercede for us to her son? Well, in the Old Testament, in the Davidic line, the mother of the king was considered the queen mother. People asked for her to intercede to her son because he couldn't refuse her. When she approached her son, a throne was placed at the right of the throne of the king. 1 Kings 2, 12 to 21. Then Solomon sat on the throne of David, his father, and his kingship was established. Adonijah, son of Haggith, came to Bathsheba, the mother of Solomon, bowed down. Do you come in peace, she asked. In peace, he answered. And he added, I have something to say to you. She replied, Speak. So he said, You know that the kingship was mine, and all Israel expected me to be king. But the kingship passed me by and went to my brother. By the Lord's will, it went to him. But now, there is one favor I would ask of you. Do not refuse me. And she said, Speak on. So, we clearly see in the beginning that Adonijah goes to the mother of the king and asks the queen mother to intercede on his behalf to her son because he won't refuse her. He said, Please ask King Solomon, who will not refuse you, to give me Abishak the Shunammite to be my wife. Bathsheba replied, Very well. I will speak to the king for you. Then Bathsheba went to King Solomon to speak to him for Adonijah, and the king stood up to meet her and paid her homage. Then he sat down upon the throne, and a throne was provided for the king's mother, who sat at his right. She said, There is no, there is one small favor I would ask of you. Do not refuse me. The king said to her, Ask it, my mother for I will not refuse you. So she said, Let Abishak the Shunammite be given to your brother Adonijah to be his wife. So we clearly see the mother of the king interceding on behalf of Adonijah to her son. Now how much more the Blessed Virgin Mary interceding to her son, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ, on our behalf. Now, the granting is not from Mary, it's from Christ himself.